Hey, John Morris here, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about basic syntax when using PHP. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is escaping from HTML, which is when we tell um, the Apache and the PHP processing engine to um, go into PHP P mode uh, as opposed to rendering uh, everything just as it's HTML. So um, this is really when you're writing PHP code, um, this is really uh, what you're going to write it inside of. So um, the basic syntax then for writing PHP code is you have your opening tag, um, which is the less than sign, um, question mark, and then PHP. And that tells um, the processing engine to start rendering everything after it as PHP. And then, of course, you close it with a question mark and a greater than sign and that tells uh, the engine that it can stop processing that particular um, line of code as uh, PHP and go back to regular just HTML mode. Okay, so that's the simplest and easiest way that you pop in and out of uh, PHP um, in an HTML page. Now, there are some alternatives. For uh, example, you could do kind of like a regular um, JavaScript type uh, or server-side language type uh, setup here. If you're familiar with that, then you, this may look familiar to you. And you can execute some code in here. And you know that'll execute that uh, just like as if it were PHP if you would use the uh, other tags. And so you can see we have our sum code up here. And so that's another way. Um, you can also use what is what are called short tags where you just get rid of this PHP uh, and you use it like this. Of course, you have to have um, short tags enabled in your uh, PHP uh, any file and I don't so you'll notice that we get some weird uh, funkiness over here um, that's why that doesn't work um, also you can use ASP style, ASP style tags uh, like this and again you have to have that enabled in your PHP any file which I don't so again we get the weirdness um, but the default way the way that uh, you know the majority of programmers do it the way you're gonna want to do it or the way it's recommended for you to do it uh, and the way that if you want to be standards compliant for web development and things like that is to use uh, these regular PHP tags just like this and that'll allow you to get in and out of PHP inside of um, a inside of HTML. Now you may have a situation where um, you're just writing a, uh, a complete PHP script and so you're not necessarily popping in and out of HTML. In fact we can open up an example like this. This is from WordPress and you know so what may happen is at the top you're gonna have this PHP just like this and clear down at the bottom you're gonna have this one like this and everything in between uh, is PHP and that's perfectly fine that's most of the most of the time that's how you're gonna write your PHP so you don't have to worry about popping in and out of of HTML but you still have to put these tags in here okay um, so uh, again that's another way that you may may use the uh, escaping from HTML maybe use the PHP tags uh, another thing that we want to talk about with basic syntax is we want to talk about the structure of an instruction. So when we have uh, we have what's called this uh, function, and it's the echo function, and it performs uh, a certain uh, set of instructions or it does a certain has a certain functionality to it. Whenever we have an instruction and we're telling PHP to do something like we're telling it to echo and then we tell it what, to echo we have kind of a basic syntax to that now each function is going to kind of have uh, its own little um, 
its own little syntax. However, um, there is some are some basic rules. So, for example, when we provide an instruction, at the end of that instruction, then we're we're always going to put a semicolon. That tells PHP that that instruction is over with. If we were to get rid of that, and we were to come back over, we were to refresh this. Um, we would well actually we don't run into errors because um, when this uh, the closing PHP tag here um, it acts as a semicolon itself so you don't actually have to put a semicolon right at the end here although you should now if we were to come in here and go echo like this then we would run into an error okay and it's because it's expecting um, it's expecting that semicolon to be there to end that instruction and it's not there okay so you always want to make sure and put those there if we put that there and we come back then we get it as expected okay so that's basic syntax that's going to be for pretty much any function uh, that you use you notice there are some exceptions for example with this if statement. Uh, we don't have a semicolon, we have a colon. And that tells um, PHP that anything after this condition, if this condition is true, if this if statement is true, anything after it until this else statement, go ahead and display. And then inside this else statement, if this condition is not true, then display this anything after this until it reaches this end if okay so there are some exceptions but for the most part you're always gonna have a, a semicolon at the end of your instructions okay and then the last thing that we'll talk about is comments and so you can actually write comments in here and you should be commenting your code so uh, if someone else has to take a look at it they, they can kinda get an idea of what you're doing so there's a couple way to write comments so this is what's called a comment and if we come over to our page after saving that you'll notice that you don't see it and if we view source you notice that you don't see it anywhere here as well so only someone who has direct access to your files can see this and this is good for um, documenting your code so if you work with another developer or, or whatever they know what it is that you were doing um, and so this is one way to comment. This will comment one line. So if we come to this next line and we write echo, it's going to go ahead and actually process that echo. Now, if you need to do multi, multiple lines, you can write it like this. And it will comment out. You notice it turned all of this green. It will comment out everything until you close it just like that. So we could come down here with multiple lines. And we could say something else and it would still comment that out okay so that's that's how you comment your code in PHP which again is a very very good idea to do okay so that's a little bit about the basic syntax as we move through you're gonna get a lot uh, better idea of of the syntax but it's important to kinda get a, uh, a little bit of that right up front so you know how to actually start creating your PHP script so uh, we're gonna continue through uh, learning PHP. I hope this one was helpful for you and I'll talk to you again soon.